Hello everyone, Shadefire here. Quite a while ago, I'd say even years ago, uh, I did my second Let's Play on a little licensed game called Land of the Dead, Road to Fiddler's Green. Um, it wasn't a terrible game for a licensed game, but uh, I did get kind of tired of it by the end because of uh, a recording problem that required me to keep replaying through the same section which happened to be a particularly tedious section. So I wasn't too uh, fond of the game by the end of it. Anyway, behind this butt rock, we have Dead Epidemic, a full-on extra single-player campaign that someone has made as a mod. So I figured, what the hell, it's been a long time, and since I seem to be revisiting old stuff lately, I figured, let's look at this one and only mod for Land of the Dead. Oh good, the music stopped. Huh. The commander would like to see you in his office. Just give me a minute! I can tell this is going to be an interesting day. And of course, it's got its own voice acting. I can never get used to the screams of the dead. Beaumont was the first. The carrier. I took him back to civilization to try and save him. If I knew that that was the beginning of the end of the world, I would have put a bullet in my friend's head then and there. The disease spread like wildfire. And as our scientists struggled to find a cure, the people were dying like flies. There never was a cure. I don't think there ever will be. Listen up, team. This might be the most important mission in your careers. I'm not going to lie to you. We might not make it back alive. This island's crawling with the undead. But from what I've heard, you're the best. But right now, the best might not be enough. Our job is to find Dr. Necro and take him out before he can do any more damage. Permission to speak freely, sir. Go ahead. I didn't sign up for a goddamn suicide mission. I'm not getting paid enough to have my head ripped off by some rotten corpse, sir. You're here to do your job, Officer Bell. Deal with it. This is not gonna be a vacation. This is bullshit, man. Bullshit. We just entered Queensport airspace. You heard her. Lock and load. Look alive, people! I don't really see the correlation between two guys shooting at a helicopter and the explosion that followed it. Just give me a reason to pull the trigger. <laughs> Let me see those hands. Let's go. We'll take him to the Queensport Police Station and lock him up. Necro will make them all talk. Did... I assume they got out of the helicopter then? Well, gee, I guess you missed one. Alright, so we're some sort of uh, SWAT or Special Forces or something sent to the island of Dr. Necro to stop uh, some sort of zombie-related thing. Oh, we got a flashlight on our pistol. That's new. Actually, this is a... Is this a new pistol? Looks like it might alone, just be the Glock. No team, no map. Everything's going to hell. And this is some amazing voice acting to start us off with. That clearly was not recorded in a bunch of separate, you know, rooms. Queensport, alright. So, I'm pretty sure, yeah, this is just the Glock. 17 shots. It was four or five shots to the head, I believe, for a kill on a zombie. And it looks like that's all we have right now. Still, I am fairly impressed that they managed to do cutscenes at all, because uh, as far as I've heard, the game wasn't exactly designed for mod support or anything. 
and was for the most part just a console port. Oh, is that that's new, right? We didn't have a pistol butt before. I recognize that zombie noise. And, of course, because it's a mod, they have probably plenty of branding mixed in. Since, you know, you don't have to worry about the little ramifications of that. What an inconvenient time for that to explode. Alright, we've also got some decently well done new zombie models. I don't remember any skinny, emaciated looking zombies. Watch out for these gas barrels. With timers on them. It's a very Innsmouth looking uh, town so far. That's probably just because it's an old-timey port down. Alright, so the gun seems a bit more powerful. I can't crawl under there. I don't think I can hop the fence. So is this a dead end? Actually, there's a. Uh, no. like there's something on the boxes, but I guess not. Hmm. Okay, that's not even a door, apparently. I'm glad we don't start with the crappy four-shot to kill lever action. I mean, it wouldn't really make sense, considering we're supposed to be some sort of special forces -y dude. Headshots are seeming remarkably more effective. Though there still seems to be the problem of accidentally shooting off limbs instead of their head. and gas on the counter. Guess that doesn't do anything. Oh, but there's a switch here. Pretty darn linear so far. We haven't really had a reason to look any houses or not. I don't remember how linear actually uh, Land of the Dead was. I'm pretty sure it was fairly so. Occasionally needing to backtrack to get a tool or something to break down a door. Wow, she had a lot of head health. Is that a Left 4 Dead zombie noise? A no more room in hell zombie noise. I 
really seen much in the way of ammo boxes yet. Which is a problem, because we don't, uh... We don't have a melee weapon of any sort. Our trusty fire axe, or our handy-dandy kung fu skills. Probably need to keep that. Unless we can jump over this barricade. Shoot it open. I remember reading somewhere that this mod is fairly prone to crashing, so I wouldn't be surprised if that happens at some point. some grass crystals here, which are probably not supposed to be there. The graves look like they're probably going to get dug up by zombies coming out of them. They don't really match up with the terrain around them. Church is our destination. Hopefully there's no better safe than sorry church guy in here. What? church armory. Got a bunch more ammo. Shit! They're coming in! Dear God, save us! Don't shoot! I'm human! Shit, boy. You almost got yourself killed there. Did, did you come from that helicopter? Yeah, we crashed and I got separated from my team. Yeah, we saw you coming down. Smoking like a great comet! Are you the only ones left in town? Yep, afraid so. Them dead got some most of us. Soon we'll be running out of food and ammunition. Only God can help us then. And lately, he ain't answering. Do you know where we can find the nearest police station? I gotta try and stop this thing. Stop it? There ain't no stopping the dead. Uh, but if it's a police station you're looking for, the closest one's in downtown Queensport, I reckon. Queensport? How do I get there? The road is blocked, so you're going to have to get there on foot. The fastest way there is through the woods. <laughs> but them woods is swarming with the dead. I have no choice. I can't stay here. Thanks for your help. Hey, stranger. Uh, don't leave empty-handed. Here. Here, take this rope. But we need that to stay alive. Pipe down. He's in bigger need of it than us. God be with him. So did he give me his revolver? <laughs> I've alerted the horde. Alright, so we've got a cult python this time instead of our crappy little revolver. Our single action revolver that took forever to fire. On the river ground, these parts. May the Lord's 357 blessing be on you. Alright, so we're gonna have to fight our way out of here.
getting hit doesn't knock you down, but it still stumbles you. Ah, oh, shit. Interrupt the reload either. It certainly seems a bit gorier than I remember Land of the Dead being. That's probably part of the mod. I have to actually go somewhere or just kill all the zombies. I assume this is the way out. I do kind of wish this had a reticle or the ability to aim because having neither means I'm just kind of guessing where my shots are going. I'm pretty sure Land of the Dead had a reticle. Again, it's been quite some time. Alright. The ghost forces have let us pass. Seriously, I can't think of any contrivance that was keeping that gate closed while we were shooting all those guys. I mean, it is nice that all the guns seem to be custom and actually seem to function a little differently than existing guns. It's not like this is just a reskin of the revolver. Alright, I'm already not exactly sure how to progress. Gate doesn't open. I'd assume one of these buttons does it, right? Doesn't seem like there's anything to interact with here. Ah, oh, there we go. I guess I need the battery to do something here. Sure, just jam the battery into the control panel. I'm sure that'll fix it.
Hmm. That car just disintegrated. Love that table. That one just hopped in there. Not sure if I haven't had enough bullets for this crowd. Yeah, that one just started surfing on top of the other ones. Walking Dead, I could just stand there and let them try to grab me one by one. This flashlight, so bad. It only works if things are like directly on top of you. I hope I'm going the right way. It's health, but it's not health I need. I need more bullet. It's kind of sad when I eventually come to a dead end, because it will actually be a dead end. I definitely don't remember swimming, except maybe in the sewer level? Well, they shouldn't be able to get me, they can't reach me from that far down. Let's do that. Now very slowly swim back. Concerned that they're gonna be right below me when I get to land and things are gonna go badly. No, they do have seem to be having a little trouble getting out of the water.
This is where I started, wasn't it? So I basically just went in a circle for no reason. I could have just shot that barrel. Well, it dropped some of them. And it sounds like some of them might have actually died from the fall. I heard some head pops. Well, this is, uh, kind of bad. There's a button there. I thought I had to kill these guys for some reason. Oh, shit. Apparently the pistol butt is effective at knocking them down. Who are you? What do you want? Talk fast or you have lead for dinner. The name's Sergeant John Gates. Don't shoot. I'm here to help. Well, John Gates, what the hell are you doing here? It ain't safe, you know. I need to get to the police station. My team's being held captive there. Can you drive me? In your truck? Hell no. All the roads in the city are blocked. You can try the train. I think it's still working. Thanks for your help. Can't use your dumb mini minigun truck over there. That's probably from the main game, if I remember correctly. Oh, oh, the truck is not even real. I guess that's why we can't use that. You got any ammo around here, son? I was going to say, why don't we just try bludgeoning him to death and taking his gun, but he seems to be aware of that possibility. Mind if I share the chair? Your friend's not looking too healthy. I heard you talking to Earl. I can help you get to the Queensport Police Station, if you help me. I left a package inside my trailer, back down the roadways. If you can get that for me, I'll open the gate to the highway, then you can keep going to the police station. You got it. Take this gun. It's an old one, but it kicks like a mule. You're going to need this key to get into the trailer. All right, so he gave me another revolver. I'm sure these dual-wielded revolvers don't take forever to reload. I didn't see a trailer when we were wandering around, but I wasn't really looking for one. Am I full up on ammo? Alright, well, I think that's actually probably good enough Oops. idea of what this is. Aside from the, uh, you know, homebrew voice acting, this doesn't seem awful or anything. 
Was like a competent enough addition to a not super great game. Apparently there are a small segment of people who, you know, really did like that game. Or at least played it in their childhood and now are nostalgic for it. So, you know, if you, uh, are those rare individuals and somehow haven't already heard of this, then here's a mod that will extend your gameplay experience. That's a lot faster than our other punch. I think I tried to see if I could kill a zombie with my fists in the first game, and it never worked. The first game. The original game. I guess I should be saying. Anyhow, this is Land... Well, I guess it's not Land of the Dead anything. This is Dead Epidemic, a mod for Land of the Dead Road to Fiddler's Green. And, uh, it's complete and everything. It's not like a half-finished mod. So, you know. Feel free to uh, give it a shot if it seems to be your thing. I'll put up a link for it, of course. Anyhow, I've been Shadefire, and uh, this is Dead Epidemic. You folks all take care. I'll see you again some of the time, and probably revisit some other old thing I've done before. Also, if you haven't voted on the poll yet, vote on the bloody poll.